everybody, welcome back to their brand new video. Today we have a box war. It's a personal box war. It is going to be myself against my 11 year old daughter, Olivia. Hello. And I am two and two currently. I'm trying to get ahead on the winning side of this ledger. Uh, over the past few months, we've done now five of these, including tonight. I have two wins against Bryce from Stay Classy Cards. And also, I have another win against Timmy, and then I lost against Heather, and I lost against my brother. So, Olivia, you're going to see if you, you can beat me or not. So, let's explain the rules to Olivia. So, here's the way it works. We're going to pick a box out of a brand new case that we just busted open. It's a case of 2022 Topps Finest. There's a whole bunch of boxes here. There's eight of them. So, uh, Olivia, do you want to pick or do you want me to pick? Just, wait, what? Picking first? You want to pick a box? We'll use one box. We each get a mini box. She's pointing to me. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That one looks good. All right, so here we go. A brand new sealed box of Finest. This is a $230 box. And we are playing for all the contents of the box. The way it works is whoever pulls the lowest numbered card out of their pack wins all the cards in the box. Now, Olivia... She doesn't collect baseball cards, but she does collect things like Roblox gift cards and Roblox. tech gadgets. So right here, I have a tech gadget mystery bag for you. There's something in here that's a tech gadget. You have no idea what's in here, do you? No. Do you, do you have any idea what it could be? A GoPro. A GoPro? It could be. Well, if you beat me, I will allow you the chance to switch the cards for what's in the mystery bag, or you can just take all the cards. You might pull a Wander Franco auto or a J-Rod auto, and then you might want to keep them. What happens them. if I lose? If you lose, you get nothing, and I'll get them all. So you have to choose wisely. I'm going to give you all the choices. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're looking for the lowest numbered card. Now, on the cards that are numbered, they're going to look like this. They'll be like green or something like that or purple. And on the cards, there's these little numbers. Like it'll say, for example, on this green one from a few days ago, Drew Ellis, it is a looks like an 88 out of 99. So... If that was the lowest numbered card, and you had it, you would be the winner. So inside the finest box, there are two mini boxes right here. And since you are the guest, Olivia, you get to choose which box you want. But choose wisely, because one of those boxes is a winner, and the other one's a loser. Which one do you want? Left has always been lucky to you. Left has always been lucky to you, so I'm going to take the right box right here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to need a piece of paper to write our names on. So we're going to put, I'll just put my last name here. Most people just call me Jabs. So put my name over here, but people probably call you, people call you Jabs in school or they call you Olivia or Livy? They call me Liv. Liv. All right. So we'll put Liv over there, her nickname. So here we go. Me, me versus Olivia. So over here, we're going to put your best card. Over here, we're going to put my best card. And I think I'm going to start off first. So here we go. This is my box. I'm going to take out all my packs. And I think we'll probably just go back and forth with our packs. Now, there's going to be an autograph card in here. Have you ever pulled an autograph out of a pack before? Yeah. Do you remember who it was? No, because it was like six, but I remember. A while ago, huh? Yeah. Six. That was like five years ago. All right, I'm going to go first. I'm going to put my other packs up here. Here we go, pack number one. Typically in these, there's usually around on average two numbered cards. So I need to find a numbered card here. We've got Jose Miranda. There is Miguel Cabrera. This is a refractor, these aren't numbered. We need to see some color. And unfortunately, I do not have any color. I do get a Shohei Otani in there, which is a nice one, and Ryan Vallade. So I am O for O. Next, we have your box. I'll rip it open. Did you want to open the pack or do you want me to open the pack for you? I can open the pack. All right. So Olivia, the rules of opening packs, very, very strict rules. You have to always keep the pack and all the cards on camera at all times. Okay. So I shuffled your packs. You can choose whichever you, one you want. You can move in there. Keep that on camera. You can move over if you want. And already, you bro have broken the cardinal rule of keeping it on camera. <laughs> there we go. All right. Be very careful with those because that could be my card in there. Oh, come on. Let's see what we have. 
Fernando Tatis starts it off. And then Reed Detmers. You have a, a Hank Aaron die cut card from 1957. Well, I've got bad news for you. Nothing's numbered. I know. You are 0 for 1. All right, my turn. My next pack. Here we go. Come on. Just one numbered card is all I need. Let's see what we can find. We've got Joey Votto leading things off. Then there's Freddie Freeman. This finest card looks like it would have a number on it, but it does not. It's just a regular base card. Matt Manning and Jonathan India. So I'm 0 for 2. You're up. Okay, see what you can do. Go ahead. We're taking turns here. Olivia's on a step stool right now. You just broke the rule again. What are you doing? <laughs> People are going to think that you like slid a card in there or something. Always keep all the cards on camera at all times, no matter what. I know it's a little bit difficult to reach around this tripod, but uh, if you knock it over, you knock it over. I'm trying to hold on to it for you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. She has an autograph that is numbered. It is an Austin Meadows. It is a gold out of 50. What is the numerator, Livy? Four out of 50. There's no way it's a four out of 50. Zero. Are you serious? Zero, four out of 50. Wait, are you sure? Let's zoom in on that. Oh, boy. Look at that. That is a four out of 50. Is that rare? Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Okay. So put that next to your name. Put that four out of 50 next to your name because we need to remember that I'm in big trouble. I'm in big, big trouble. That's... uh. That's that's gonna be tough to beat. A four out of fifty Austin Meadows. <sighs> if I lose, can I still see what was inside of the victory bag? Yeah, we'll let you see regardless if you win or lose. But I'll tell you what, your chances of winning right now are about ninety five percent. We've got Yadier Molina. We've got oh, there's my autograph. It's Aaron Ashby. Big whoop. It's not even numbered, and it's worth like two dollars. Man, so. You definitely have the better autograph, and um, you can go ahead and open your next pack right now and see if you can improve on that card and see if you can do better. Four out of 50 is pretty darn good. There's going to be me. I might have one numbered card, and it, it I'd have to just really get lucky. Oh, another numbered card. It is a purple Brian De La Cruz. What's the numerator on it? Flip it over to the back and see what it is. What does it say? 24? It is a 38 out of 250. See that so, gold number? Yeah. So that's not going to beat your four. So you're going to yeah. keep your four. And you can put that one off to the side. You also got a Wander Franco rookie card in there. And um, I think the Wander Franco is the best one in that pack. All right, I'm back again. Here we go. Taking turns back and forth between these packs. Hey, I've got a green. I've got a chance. You know what my chances are? This is out of 99, so I have a 3% chance of knocking you off the top right now. This card needs to be numbered a 3 out of 99, or a 1 out of 99, or a 2 out of 99. Here it is. It is going to be a Beau Bichette, and it is numbered. It'll be on the back. Let's slide it over here so you can see it is numbered to 99 right there. Now, the big question is, what is that numerator? So if it starts with a zero, I'm in good shape. And it starts with a two. 28, so I am out for right now. I only have two packs left. You're up. Let's see if you can pull anything else. The autographs are gone. There's one autograph per box. You got an Austin Meadows. I got Aaron Ashby. That's not enough. Num Another numbered card? What the heck? Three numbered cards. It's an Aaron Judge, and this one is numbered out of 300. It is a 156 out of 300, so that won't improve your... You might as well just keep that four on there. That's a pretty good one right there. And uh, I only have two packs left to go. So, Livy, I'm going to let you open your last two because I think you've, I think you've got this now 99% chance of winning it. Go. Remember, keep them all on camera at all times so people don't think that you slipped a card in there or took a card away. We've got Juan Soto. Juan Soto's a good one. Hey, Bobby Witt Jr. Refractor. That's a good card. I don't think you know the good rookies in 2022, but Bobby Witt is probably the second best, second or third best. That's you good. Go ahead and open your last pack. Keep it on camera. And we'll see what you can find with this last one. 
I don't know if you have any other numbered cards. You already pulled three. I think that's the yeah. most I've seen in these boxes. MJ Melendez Refractor is a nice one. And Raphael Devers. So, you've got a four. Now I've got to beat you with the last two. Or otherwise, you'll have the choice now. You've got to think about it. What do you want to do if you do hang on? Do you want to swap out the cards for the mystery bag? Or do you want to keep the cards? So, it's kind of like... Uh, Oh, man, it's kind of like deal or no deal. You have to decide if you're going to keep going or take the offer here. Okay, so this pack has a Jeremy Pena refractor, and it is not numbered, so I am down to my last pack. Here we go. A last pack. Come on. I need a numbered card. I only have one on the ledger so far. It was the, oh, what was it, a Boba Shed out of 99. Here we go. Last one. We'll determine if you keep the cards or swap it for what's in the mystery bag. Again, the mystery bag, the category, it's a tech gadget. So it's a tech gadget. That's the category. We've got, uh-oh, I've got something here. I've got a chance to walk it off. I've got a chance. It is going to be a shimmer of Clayton Kershaw. The number will be on the back. So it's a shimmer. It will be numbered. We've got Trevor Story and Ryan Mountcastle there as well. So... Here we go. This will determine who takes it. Last card of the box. Either I'm going to win or Olivia is going to win. The card will be numbered. It is numbered out of 175. So, hmm, what's what's my chances of taking this one? Probably like less than 2%. I need that first number to be a zero or you win. If you see a one here, it means you've just won. Here we go. It is a one. You've won the box war. Congratulations. I've lost. And in typical um, Jabs family fashion, I do not have it when it comes to one-on-one -on -one box wars. I've lost yet again. I think the only box wars I've ever won is ones that, uh, you know, I get some assistance from the kiddos in picking the boxes. So, man, why are kids so good at picking box war boxes? So now, Olivia, you're the champion. Congratulations on that. Now you have the uh, – now you have to choose. Do you, do you take what's in the mystery bag or do you keep the cards? It's up to you. I will trade you the mystery bag for the cards or you can keep the cards. It's up to you. Wait, what does the mystery... Can I see it before? You can't see what's in the bag. That's what, That's the wrinkle here. <laughs> what if it's like the hot chip challenge? <laughs> what if it's the hot chip challenge? Oh, man, that would be terrible. Well, it's a lot better than what you suggested. Olivia suggested the loser gets shot with a Nerf gun. <laughs> and uh, I was a, uh, I don't think I was ready to take a, a Nerf gun bullet. So uh, this is what I what I decided to do instead. So we we did one we did one of these a similar challenge like five years ago where the loser had to like take a snowball in the face or something like that. Yeah, I remember that. So here we go. What are you gonna do here? Are you taking the cards or are you taking the mystery bag? Because everyone at home wants to know. Um, she's thinking. She's tapping her fingers. I think the, I just kidding. Okay, you have to open it on camera here and see. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel it. I don't know what it is. I'm scared. Oh! Oh my goodness! They are wireless earbuds. To go with your phone so you can listen to music. Yes, yes, yes. Olivia's doing a happy dance. Are you happy with your choice? Yes, I am. Now, I'll give you one last chance. Would you like to trade this prize in for the cards or keep the prize? <laughs> how much were the, car uh, the cards worth and how much are these worth? How much were the cards worth? I don't remember what I paid for this one. I bought this so oh, a couple weeks ago for this challenge whenever I decided to face you. Um, I don't know, maybe like 80, 90 bucks for those. And these, uh, I'll tell you what, the autograph there, the Austin Meadows, I would probably guess is worth about maybe $20 if we're lucky. And that was the best card in there. The other cards, maybe you might have a $5 card here and there on the numbered cards. But I think, uh, I don't know, it's up to you, though. What do you want to go with? I guess this He's one. He's going to keep that all right. Yes. So Olivia has some new wireless <laughs> earbuds, and I have another loss on my ledger. I'm now two and three in these one-on-one -on -one box wars. I will probably challenge somebody else next month.
Maybe Robbie. Who else could we? Could I challenge? Maybe. <laughs> maybe I could. Yeah, maybe I could challenge my dad or something like that. I like to challenge a different person each month. So two and three is my record. Now we are not live tonight with our regularly s scheduled Saturday showdown because today is Heather's birthday and we are celebrating that. So we'll be live back again tomorrow. We'll have an auction for you. I hope you can all join us. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. And until next time, we'll see you all later. Do you want to say good night? Good night, everybody. You getting them all set up? Yeah. Upon further review, I looked up the price of those. They were about $26. So I'm going to take the cards. I'm going to auction the cards off for you as well. And I'm going to give you the money to have a little bit extra because I think the cards may have actually been worth just a little bit more than that. Okay. So we'll auction those off tomorrow night.